officials of the Hemin and Heb administration of central Somalia confirmed that one of Al Shabaab's top leaders had withdrawn on Wednesday. Sheikh Hassan Dahir Awais, once a dreaded holy warrior of the Al Shabaab network, had recently led a rebel faction within Al Shabaab ranks. The Mogadishu administration welcomes Sheikh Dahir's move to turn allegiance without force. The federal government of Somalia is very pleased that uh, Hassan Dahir Awais and is in the hands of uh, and, and Heb authority uh, and our government is determined and committed uh, to continue dialogue and discussions to solve uh, this issue peacefully. All we want is, and we have been saying this to a very long time, those in Al-Shabaab who are Somalis who are willing to renounce the violence, we welcome them and we are ready to negotiate. The Adad town administration where the Al-Shabaab leader is held in custody is now discussing handover of Sheikh Dahir to the Somali federal government. As you can see, one of the prominent figures has, uh, like you said, surrendered to the, to, to the uh, authorities and hopefully the, the rest will follow. Uh, and so uh, this can only benefit our, our, the government and the Somali people. Uh, so we can uh, truly now go into all areas of Somalia and truly you know, spread uh, you know, uh, what the government is all about. An internal infighting within top al-Shabaab factions in the Somali coastal town of Brava has resulted in the deaths of four members of the group last week. Sources reveal that Hassan Dairaway's fell out with al-Shabaab Ali this year made disagreements over strategy. There are, however, lots of speculations on how the Mogadishu administration will deal with Dahir once arrangements to hand him over are complete. Mohammed Hirmogi, CCTV, Mogadishu.